possible violation of the break. The inquiry sign is posted. Uh, it does not involve the winner. It's a possible uh, break on the four horse ship stream. And while we're waiting for the judges to take a look at the videotape, let's go to the winner's circle, Alan Kirschenbaum and Bill O'Donnell. I'm here with Billy O'Donnell in the winner's circle at Free Old Raceway. Billy O'Donnell has just won the Breeders' Crown three-year-old Philly Trot for the third year in a row with Jeff Spice. Billy, how does this Philly compare to the other two Phillies who won the Breeders' Crown with Fancy Crown and Armbro de Bone? We're going to look at the race right now on the replay. Billy O'Donnell, if you could just tell us how important it was to draw the rail and get out of there fast. Well, that not involved the top you know, the rail on a half mile track with a horse that leaves good. She's good on the front. And once it gets down and back in behind me, then, you know, I, I kind of got things my own way. And, and she had enough to hang on the stretch. What did you think when the first quarter flashed by and it was in a very, very fast 28 and 1? Well, I knew that there had to be some slow ones here to give me a little bit of a breather, and it worked out very well. And, uh, you know, like I said, she hung on good. Now, the field is just past the quarter pole, and going into the second turn, John Campbell looks like he has quite a hold on Bright Light Lobel in the two hole, and Hoken Walner is going to pull from the three hole. How did you feel when they started coming at you that fast? Well, you know, I'd already got a pretty good rest in the quarter to, you know, right here, about just a little bit before the half, and I had a step along a little bit. And, uh, you know, from there until I had the stretch, I didn't get pressed very hard. And well, that's what made the race. I got a pretty good breather. At this point, certainly you have to be worried about Bright Light Lobel, who's breathing down your back. Are there any other fillies in the field that you're thinking about right now? Not really. I looked back and I saw a shift dream coming. And, uh, you know, the first tee, she was in the two hole and got out and she couldn't catch me. But the one I was worried about was Bright Light. I didn't think I could beat her. In essence, maybe Shipstream did you some sort of favor by being such a good filly, and once she'll make her move three wide, which should happen shortly, being the filly that caused Johnny Campbell to get locked in with Bright Light Low Bell. Well, yeah, when Doug come three wide, I didn't want to hurry mine along to let John at the two hole. You know, I had a pretty good holder right here, and she felt good and strong, so... I didn't have to start mine up until I had the stretch, and, you know, she was all right. They're going to come around the last turn here, and Bay O'Donnell's still got a pretty good hold of Jeff Spice, while Bright Light Lobel is still boxed in on the inside, her way blocked by a very tough ship stream. What happens if John Campbell gets out here, Billy? I really don't know. And I guess he really doesn't care that much. Jeff Spice here under some urging. Did you think you could get beat in the last few strides? Well, not, well, she went, you know, she's went a hell of a race, really. You know, if she, if she got tired, she sure had right to be. Jeff Spice and Bill O'Donnell win the Breeders' Crown. One quick word from Bill. All right, can I say hello to my father who's in the hospital up in Nova Scotia and to my family, my little boy's birthday today, Christopher. Best wishes to Bill's father, and let's go back to Dave Johnson. Well, Elliot, question for you. Bill said uh, he didn't think he could beat Bright Light Lobel. He did. Uh, maybe that affected his driving strategy. Oh, I think, it, I think it did a lot, because Billy O'Donnell did a great job driving this race. As he said, he forced John Campbell to take a tuck behind him, Dave, and then the rest of the race was history. He just backed his filly off, and he drove her to the best of his ability and did a great job doing it. As you can see, the lights are flashing, uh, the number four horse for a possible uh, violation of the braking rule, but it is no doubt that Jeff Spice is going to be declared the official winner of this, and Bright Light Lobel was defeated, in fact, off the board. Be sure to be with us Friday when we travel south to the Washington, D.C. area for the $560,000 two-year-old Philly Pace from Rosecroft Raceway. Breeders' Crown 86 has been brought to you by the nationwide investment firm of First Jersey Securities. Come draw with us. And by Castleton Farm, a tradition of excellence. Once again, the winner of the three-year-old Philly trot, Jeff Spice.